Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the PDSA fundraiser. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are currently within the Black Rock Mountain and I alluded to this farm quite a while ago and pretty much what you're gonna need to do is head over to the Black Rock Mountain which is inside of the Black Rock Mountain of course, but uh, basically in Burning Steps and also the Searing Gorge. Either way is accessible and you can just go into the mountain straight up. Once you're here, all you have to do is head over to this little enclave, which is just over here, and then just follow the route right now. So what you need to do is when you come into this area, you will see that there's the lower black rock spire, which is just down there. And if you go up, there's the upper black rock spire. Bear in mind, you do need to set this to heroic, so set this to heroic difficulty. And what we'll be farming for today is the Atlantic Core Spawnling. Now, this is a really easy farm, farm to actually do each and every day. It is locked to once per character, but to be quite honest, it's not the end of the world because, yeah, it's just one of those easy, quick, simple farms in order to do. Now, don't worry about all of the other different types of loot. You can, if you are a transmog farmer, uh, obviously loot them because you can get some random cool stuff that you can actually sell. But realistically, you're not really getting much from that. Obviously, I just got a recipe for cooking. I don't really want that on my Demon Hunter. But overall, all you have to do is go into here and kill all of the mobs. However, there's only a few ways in order to do this and killing all the mobs is one of the ways because the, the actual door, which is just located here in the actual dungeon, it will not open until you've destroyed all of the mobs in that vicinity. So what you need to do is pretty much just take out all of these mobs right here and then the upper black rock spire will open up for you. Providing that what we're actually going for is a battle pet, I have made a actual macro in order to target the Lanticore, but that is literally, that is slash tar Lanticore, because I don't really know yet, just yet, if the actual macro will actually work. That is obviously for targeting the actual mob, but I can't tell if it can actually get through all of these walls. So until I actually find a spawn, I can't tell if when I walk into the dungeon if I've actually got the Lanticore spawned just yet. But I'll let you know in a future video when it comes about. Now, all you have to do now to open the next door is obviously take out the boss and pretty damn simple really. And yeah, it, all you have to do now is try and burst him down as fast as possible or because otherwise it's gonna take you a little while in order to do because um, I wasn't fast enough in order to do it, so now he's become like OP. <laughs> and now he's actually dead, we can actually carry on and the doors will open. Once you're into this room, this is the room you're going to want to be in, and what you're actually going for is the Lanticore. Hopefully we have a Lanticore spawn, hopefully. So what we'll do now is we'll just take out the boss quickly and just make sure that he dies. And then once we've actually done all of that, we can then do that. Now, now this is kind of handy. We found out that the macro doesn't actually work because it's called the Lanticore. So we will adjust the macro right now. The Lanticore spawns on an RNG basis, but that actually gives you a 100% battle pet in order to do. So what we'll do now is we'll just actually rename that as the Lanticore. And we'll save that and then we use the macro it targets it so now all we have to do is kill the lanticore remember the mob is rng not the battle pet so once he's dead all we have to do is kill him and we've got the lanticore spawning which is currently on my server for 28,856 gold if it is in companion form but if we actually learn it uh, the price will drop quite significantly because not a lot of people actually do that and the actual price at this moment in time is 19,858 gold or a market value of 12,607 gold with a region market value average of 15,423 gold. 
Bear in mind, remember that this is a once per character per day thing, and for obvious reasons, I will be doing this on my characters just to make a nice stockpile of these. So we'll open up our mobile banking quickly. And what we'll do here is we'll put the Lanticore right there and then we can stockpile a load up. I'm not posting these on the auction house just yet until I've got at least three so, that, so I can manage my inventory. And we can take this at time to actually have a look at what we've actually got still. We've still got Killdovers, Mini the Grumpus, we've got some more Tomes of Lost Legion. I actually got one this morning when I woke up. And then we've got the Garn Night Howls, which are still keeping in supply. We actually do need to send some over. Uh, Plans of the Arcanite Reaper, we've still got one on the auction house, one in our bank. We've got the Sun Reaver Micro Centuries, they're doing okay. And the Lanticore Spawning now. So, what I've done is all of my characters are in position, so I'll be doing that for the remaining of the day. So that being the case, let's move over to the gold for the day. Now coming in for the gold for the day is a healthy and back to the normal 104,889 gold. Things of note is Potion of Spectral Strength, 189 for 23,000 gold. We have a enchant weapon of Sinful Revelation, seven of those for 14,091 gold. We have Potions of Phantom Fire, 120 of those for 28,115 gold, as well as more Potions of Phantom Fire, 49 of those for 11,482 gold. And other things of note is Sinful Revelation once again, it's doing really well that enchant, and then Tranquil Ink for 5,450 gold, bringing our total to 104,889 gold. So pretty damn happy with all of that right there. Let's just pull all of that gold in, bringing our total back up to a healthy 1,860,056 gold. Let's have a gander at what we've actually got on the auction house, and we've actually still got some more sales. We've got about 5,000 gold worth already sold for tomorrow's click now. So pretty damn happy with that right there. So they can't really complain all that much. The next things of note is to double check our TSM crafting. And what we'll do is we'll double check it and we're gonna need to make a load of potions in order to make some decent gold moving forward. So that's always something we can look into right there. So, that being the case, how is it going at this moment in time? Well, to be honest, I'm quite happy with the way things are going. We're obviously making some good strides in our daily rotation of farming, and obviously we will be doing the Lanticore quite consistently throughout the coming week, as well as the Pit of Sauron, in order to see how many Battle Tilts and Lanticores we can actually get a hold of. Realistically, it's like stockpile at least three, then put one on the auction house, and then keep the farm going till we've got a stupid amount of them, and then we can just sit back and enjoy. So that being the case, guys, that is everything for today. If you wish to donate to the PDSA fundraiser, the link is in the description down below. Other than that, have a lovely rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources, and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.